good morning friends we will be discussing about uh, the program number 1 which is part of unix system programming and computer compiler design lab in this particular program we will be uh, looking into the uh, two functions basically sysconf and pathconf sysconf indicates system configuration and pathconf inform uh, indicates uh, path configuration you can say but uh, majorly sysconf is with respect to getting the configuration for processes pathconf for configurations with respect to file system so apart from that we'll also be looking into two macros which we have defined in this program called as POSIX source and POSIX C source <coughs> so POSIX source if we have defined this particular macro, we'll be enabling the features of POSIX1. And if we'll be any if uh, the underscore POSIX underscore C underscore source is defined for a positive integer, in this case it is 199309L, we are enabling POSIX1B, which is a higher version of POSIX. The different versions of POSIX are available and each version will have its own set of features and if we have defined an higher version of POSIX there is no need to dis define a lower version of POSIX but in our program we have defined both of these just for demonstration uh, nothing to worry about it and the second thing is uh, this is IO stream here uh, input output stream okay uh, C out C in the operator over the insertion operator, accession operator are all overloaded in this particular header file. It is defined in the namespace std. And uni std, unix std, the full form of this, it is a header file which, uh, which is going to define uh, values, integer values, underscore sc, underscore clock, underscore tick. This is an integer value basically. It is a variable that is representing an integer value. And this, these integer variables are defined in uni std. And also the sysconf function is defined in uni std. Pathconf is defined in uni std. So that is the reason we require this uni std for this particular program. And what are the various functionalities, what are the various configurations that we will be looking in this program is number of clock ticks per second. How many clock ticks? Uh, does your uh, computer support will will be able to get this particular information during runtime using sysconf if we are going to pass this variable to sysconf it will return a value this is not integer this is log this will return a long value okay i'll save this program so this will return long value and uh, that long value will be number of clock ticks Similarly, if I say sc child max, sc for sysconf, child max, number of child processes that a process can create. So it returns minus one if your system doesn't support. It returns a positive value if that positive value will be the number of child processes. Similarly, we have something called as pathconf. Pathconf essentially takes two parameters. One is the root itself and the second one is the integer value. In this case is underscore PC underscore path underscore max. This indicates that uh, we want the maximum path length. So if you if you see in your uh, browser, you will be able to mention the path for any file, absolute path for any file. How long this path can be? What is the length of this particular path? There is a limit for this length. What is the limit for your operating system will be returned by this particular function called as pathconf when you pass this variable to that function. And the fourth uh, functionality or the fourth specification of an operating system that we want is PC name max. Here the maximum number of characters a file name. Remember I had told you that pathconf is for files, sysconf is with respect to processes. So if there is something related to file, we'll be using a function pathconf. If there's something related to processes, we'll be using sysconf. 
PC name max, this is this particular variable when it is passed with pathcon is going to return maximum number of characters in a file name. How long your file name can be. The last configuration is again a system configuration or the something which is related to processes sys open max maximum number of open files per process that is a value that is returned for uh, this variable and all these things are defined in POSIX C source 199309L okay this will uh, be the end of the explanation for this particular program I'll show you the output of this program so what we will do is uh, we are going to compile this using G++ it is a C++ program p1.cpp and after compilation we just need to execute this program so you can see number of clock ticks is 100 maximum of child process that a process can create is 15,370 maximum path line is 40996 which is 4 kilobytes maximum number of characters in file name is 255 maximum number of open file plus per process is 1024 so that is the end of this particular explanation. Thank you.